Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, finally, I feel like I say this every video, but finally coming out with this review. A lot of people have been asking about it um, through YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. So I guess y'all are very interested to know how I like the new ASICS Nusta Tri 13s. Um, it is a new model, so I understand um, the need to want to know uh, how a personal experience is. So if y'all are new here, my name is Tori. Um, I'm a runner, mom, whatever. I run for fun. I'm not elite, nothing like that. Um, but I love ASICS shoes. I review them after I personally run in them in multiple um, types of runs, mileage. I like to wear them out basically before I put out a review. That way I'm not just spitting out facts that I find online. I'm telling you my personal experience based on the shoe. Um, I am a marathon runner. I haven't been marathon training in about a year. So anyway, that doesn't matter. So the Noosa Tri 13s, I did put out a video uh, probably a few months ago now of the bungee laces. So one of the really cool features, which is probably so um, not important, but one of the, my favorite parts about the Noosa's is that it comes with regular shoelaces, but extra, it also comes with extra bungee laces, which is so cool. Like, I don't know. I think it's cool. So it comes with these pink bungee laces. They're super easy to put in. You just tighten them with like this little plastic button thing. You just tighten them up. Your shoes don't come untied when you run. I have ran with the bungee laces more than I ran with the regular laces. I love the bungee laces. I don't have to worry about my shoes coming untied. Um, they're not too tight. I don't know. Awesome. Just one less thing to worry about when you're running. Like who wants to go run 10 miles and at mile eight, your legs are so dead and then your shoe comes untied and you have to bend down and tie it. Like that's literally the worst thing that's ever happened. So that's like the first thing I love about the nooses. So, I'm going to compare them to the Everides because the tread, I have an Everide right here. So the Everides, I also reviewed, um, but the tread is the same. So it's not like that chunky tread. It's more flat. So I did notice when it is wet, it can get more slippery because it doesn't have that thick tread to like grip the ground when it's wet. I did not have to worry about slipping and falling, but just something to be a little bit more conscious of when you're running in the rain or after it rains or something, it doesn't grip as well, but you're, you're, it's not like you're wearing total flats and you're slipping and sliding like a NASCAR, whatever, car, whatever. Anyway, um, so the tread is about the same as the Everide. Um, the cushion is more than the Everide, so I'm gonna bring the Everide back. So it kind of looks pretty similar to the Everide as far as um, cushion level, but the nooses actually are rated higher in cushion. They have more cushion. Um, they have an extra cushion on the ASICS website, whereas the Everides have a regular amount of cushion. So I would definitely say the nooses have more and I would agree with that. I can go for a longer period of time um, with the nooses than I would in the Everides. Um, so they do hold up really well. They're true to size, they're a neutral shoe, um, just like the Everides are a neutral shoe. They weigh 6.5 ounces, so that's slightly more, um, I'm sorry, slightly less than the Everides, which was 6.8, so really not too much of a difference. Um, but they are that lightweight shoe, but you still get extra cushion in. It's not maxed out cushion like you would find in like a Nova Blast, that's lightweight and maxed out, but it does have a lot um, of cushion and it's really comfy. Um, so Noosa's are actually a part of the sustainable line too that ASICS launched. Um, so even though they're really crazy fun colors, um, they actually use less color dye in the sock liner um, to make it more sustainable um, using, you know, less colors. Some of the ASICS shoe boxes, um, they use less paper and they're just, they're doing amazing things for sustainability. So nooses are part of that a sustainability line, which is really cool. Um, they hold up really well. I ran eight miles in them the other day. Um, so they're, they're good for like that, that short to mid distance. I have not personally tried them 
in the double digit running. I'm just not personally there yet. Um, but I would say they could last up to a half marathon, but when it goes up to a full marathon, if you're someone like me who needs a lot of cushion in your shoe when you're running that far, I wouldn't suggest the Noosa. I'm truly a gel nimbus girl when it comes to marathon running. So when it comes to those really long distance runs, 15 miles plus and race day at 26.2, I always run in my gel nimbus. They're chunky, they're heavy, but they are the cushion I need for my body to make it comfortably across the finish line. I mean, you're gonna hurt anyway, but I need that all out max cushion all I can get for that distance. So if you're like me in that aspect, I would lean toward the Nimbus in marathon training. If you're not, and you can run in like your like flat Nike shoes in your marathon training, I would try the Nooses then. Um, so it's just to each their own, whatever your body needs. Um, specifically, just think about that. Please reach out if you have questions about those type of things. I will try to help any way I can. Um, like I was saying, this is a neutral shoe, so it's um, not a stability shoe, basically, is the easy way to put it. So um, I do add Dr. Scholl's performance insoles into them just for a little bit extra cushion, a little bit extra support. I don't use orthotics or inserts or anything like that. I just like a little bit of extra cushion if I can get it. It just helps um, with that shock absorption even more, um, especially when you're running long distance. That's super important to take care of your body while you can, so you can run for longer in your life. Um, so they have, so I have to write this down because it's kind of hard to say, but it has a full length P backs. I probably am totally butchering that word. It's P E V A X um, spike plate. So full length, it goes toe to heel, and it is to help with maximum performance and flexibility. So it's not like your Nova Blast that kind of have that rocking feeling. It's a different type of feeling. It's very comfortable, um, but it's to help with that flexibility of your foot when you run. Um, very comfortable shoe. Highly recommend. Um, they're 130, so I feel like that's a pretty standard running shoe price, so nothing crazy. Um, I run in a size eight and a half always. I'm an eight. I size up half a size in running shoes, especially for long distance, but just running shoes in general, no matter what distance, because foot swelling, you don't want to lose toenails, you don't want blisters, you want your toes to have plenty of space in your shoe. So that is the Noosa Tries. I tried to keep it pretty short. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this helps um, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching guys.